Hello everyone, YSL here. How have you been? I'm sorry I have not been able to make a few videos for um, for a, a number of reasons actually, so I'm sorry about that, but uh, I'm doing one today, so yay! I know everyone uh, everyone must have missed me, so um, yep. Anyways, so back to, to the good part. So today I'm going to show you something pretty cool I found. Uh, so imagine you, you're uh, in your house or anyways in, in some kind of a hallway like this and uh, you stumble upon two cauldrons like this one with a little bit of water so you're like mm, I want that water so you, and um, fortunately you have some glass bottles with you so good you're gonna take that water take it and oh my god what happens jet doors and uh, you have access you have access to this chest so I'm going to tell you exactly how to make this uh, and it's it's actually pretty simple. I mean, all the elements to, to make this could already be found on YouTube. Uh, basically, how to make a butt switch, how to make a T flip flop, how to make uh, jet doors. Uh, it's all it's all easy to do uh, redstone contraptions. But I'm still going to give you a quick tour. So that's basically how the whole thing works. Um, this uh, this part of the is the butt switch. This is the piston that will get updated by um, the cauldrons. Uh, and the whole thing is uh, basically that this piston will get updated, then uh, the torch will power this repeater, which will then unpower the torch, and uh, because uh, this is unpowered, the piston will then retract. So uh, all that good stuff will give us a small pulse that will then good the, that will la, 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 sorry about that that will then go into the T flip flop, which will uh, which basically works by uh, unpowering these two tor these two torches. And uh, it will toggle the T flip flop. So basically, this wool is on the left. So if we toggle it, let me give you an example. I'm going to grab a button real fast. All right. So let's say we just toggle this T flip flop real fast. Then it will go on the right, and uh, the power would stay. It would then go all the way here, uh, all the way to the the jet doors that are right here. And uh, I'm not going to obviously uh, give you a whole tour of the, the jet doors because I mean there's thousands of video on YouTube on how to do them, some better than others. But uh, hey, anyways, uh, so that's basically how this whole thing works. And it's um, the best thing about this is that uh, it's one of the few techniques to activate a redstone mechanism that actually requires specific items. Um, in, in our case, it's either a bucket of water if uh, the cauldron has no more water in it. So, um, let me just show you once again. There you go. If you, if you put water in it, it works. Uh, in the same way, if you have some glass bottles, it will work as well. Each time you update it, uh, jet doors will uh, toggle on and off. And uh, so basically, you only with these two items can you activate this uh, thing. So you can, of course, you can use it for more than just uh, more than just activating jet doors. I mean, you can have other types of stuff. But I thought it was uh, it was cool because someone that's unaware of uh, of this contraption will not really know what to do. He'll just find cauldrons and be like, eh, there's nothing more than just that. So uh, you actually just need some. Uh, you actually need uh, a bucket of water or uh, some glass bottles. Uh, similarly, this can be interesting. Let's say if you make an adventure map, something like this, and um, and you don't want someone to be able to access a certain area, for instance, and uh, unless they they have they collect this uh, specific items, which is uh, either a bucket of water or um, or a, a glass bottle. So that's it guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, feel free to leave a rating, comment, uh, tell your friends about it, uh, tweet it, I don't know what the, what the hell you can do, but, uh, uh, but uh, that's it and I'm going to see you next time.